The Low Carbon Manufacturing Programme, LCMP, aims at reducing carbon emissions generated by manufacturing facilities in the Pearl River Delta and enhancing their competitive advantage. And with the labelling system, which rates performance to four levels, top carbon reducers can distinguish their factories from others in the region by tracking their carbon footprint according to the International Carbon Accounting Standards, as well as communicate their continuous improvement in carbon performance. There are three evaluation criteria, including how much factories reduce their carbon intensity, how well the greenhouse gas management system is put in place, and how effective they implement measures on the technological best practices. The LCMP is, or carbon labelling, um, can have huge effects, um, uh, positive effects for the manufacturing sector. Well, I think it's important that the investors can see that a company is taking its responsibilities of sustainability because consumers want to see that these products are made in a more sustainable and environmentally friendly manner. So LCMP is extremely beneficial as far as that is concerned because it allows these companies that manufacture to have a label that says that they are manufacturing and producing in a way that is uh, sustainable and more environmentally friendly. We strive to be a socially responsible company. So if there is anything we can do to help to better the environment, uh, we try our best to uh, participate. With the involvement of the energy uh, consultant, the professionals, there will be some suggestions on how to be more energy efficient. Given the advices uh, from the consultant and our active participation, we should be able to find alternatives uh, that will not require a lot of investment, but at the same time, is able to reduce our cost of production. So at the end of the day, it will be a win-win situation for everybody. The LCMP, which provides a clear path to low carbon and energy cost saving, is a program welcomed not only by factories, but also global sourcing companies like Lianfeng Trading Limited. Lianfeng manages supply chains for major brands and retailers globally. In regular meetings, the user-friendly tool to measure and analyze carbon performance can help them select low carbon manufacturers in different business sectors. WWF has the credibility needed to guide and follow up on the work that we would that would be necessary if the LCMP is implemented with our supplies and factories. The Danish Parliament passed a law in December 2008 encouraging all major Danish companies to uh, report on their CSR initiatives by 2010. We have been looking around in Hong Kong to find different partners we can work with to develop a comprehensive policy. We have been talking with WWF um, with regard to their LCMP program, which seems to be a very accessible and comprehensive tool that can be used in offices as well as in uh, manufacturing facilities. LCMP has come up with a very good labelling system. LCMP can tell very objectively how well these companies have been performing on the carbon emission reduction. Well, we find that well, for each industry, they have huge different uh, types of uh, sub-processes. For example, for the textile industry, they have uh, the uh, spinning, the weaving, the knitting, the bleaching and dyeing, and the garment sub-processes. Global giants like Walmart, Tesco and Marks and & Spencer have launched new carbon reduction initiatives in an effort to showcase themselves as carbon conscious and environmentally friendly retailers. We expect to see growing interest in applying and obtaining such a certification as public concern on climate change has been increasing. The important 
issue here is that we have a partner like WWF who has the experience and credibility to help us. Manufacturing is to become sustainable and more environmentally friendly. It is only through a program like LCMP that that can be achieved. If we are not able to get a very high uh, level of rating from the program, at least the program will help us to uh, point out areas that we are supposed to work on uh, so as to improve our carbon emission in the future. We hope that well, later on we can gradually expand the scope to cover more and more industrial types so that the whole of the manufacturing sector can make a concerted effort in contributing in reducing the carbon emission and to preserve the uh, better environment for the whole world.